hello everyone in this video let's see how to call power automate from power apps okay for that go to power apps first click create and create a canvas app from blank and here name it as call pa power automate okay so create so it's loading power app studio now and it will take a some time to load all the components so basically this power automate and power apps belongs to power platform microsoft has created so apart from this power virtual agents and power bi are also the part of power platform okay now uh, so the app opened skip here and create two fields here uh, so that we can pass those two fields values to power automate click insert your name text box text input and again one more label here one more label here with roll number okay and give a text box text input and now click button so this button will invoke power automate previously power automate is known as ms flows okay so now let's see how to invoke this okay so here you on select property of the button uh, generally uh, there will be false or true but we can also write an action here on the top okay action and uh, here we can add the flows using power automate okay click this power automate and here it is asking to create a new flow or else uh, select the already available flows okay but i want to create a new flow here create new flow and it will take to the power automate portal and here let's create the new flow create and since uh, we are creating the flow for the power apps so create from the scratch so here we have a trigger power apps okay so let's click this power apps and in the new step uh, so what shall we give is like we need to uh, send or we need to uh, get the parameters from the power apps okay so for that uh, let's create a variable or something like that compose you can take compose data operation and inputs so this input will come from power automate uh, uh, sorry power apps okay so go to here and here you can see ask in power apps right click this okay compose outputs and uh, you can rename this if you want or else we can do one thing uh, first rename this as student name okay and again you take a new step you give compose and rename it as roll number okay and inputs 
inputs uh, we will get from the power apps okay so ask in power apps okay now uh, let's save here and let's go to uh, power apps and check so flows associated with button one okay this is the button one and what is the power power app student name roll number this is the power uh, automate and the flow we have created so now uh, these two values student name and roll number must come from power apps right so select here the flow and add it to this form now it's adding this this flow to the power apps form and here it's uh, giving us the run function here and our run function is accepting two uh, parameters now first one is uh, compose inputs means name and then next one is roll number okay so now the in the first uh, parameter let's give the name text box so the name of the te first text box is text input one dot text okay so the second one is roll number text input two dot text okay now let's see uh, let's implement this or play this and let's see these two inputs will uh, go to power automate or not okay save this so now let's preview this app and give the values in the text boxes those values must be come into the power automate now okay preview the name let's give wish no roll number is triple nine okay now click invoke power automate just invoke the power automate now and let's go to the power automate and go to the workflow history for this uh, flow okay my flows and go to the workflow history and you can see succeeded here and click this and you can see here the student name Vishnu we got okay this comes this came from the power apps and the roll number 9999 so this parameters are coming from power apps okay so now uh, we came to know that while we can invoke power automate from power apps and we can pass the parameters from power apps to power automate now let's do the reverse way so send some values from power automate to power apps okay so let's see how how we can do this let's go to my flows and edit the flow select the flow and click edit on the top so now here the new step first decide what you want to send to power apps from power automate so for that you take a compose data operation and write here something whatever you want like uh, this value from pa means power automate okay i'm giving this input so here we can rename this as uh, from pa it means uh, this outputs are from the pa okay now uh, let's uh, click the new step and go to the power apps actions 
okay power up sections and here we have only one action from the power app respond to a power app or flow okay select that and here it's asking to add an output okay so we select text here and it is asking the title uh, you can give like same from underscore pa okay enter the value to respond so this value will come from the from pa okay outputs from pa outputs okay click save now and now uh, the challenging thing is uh, to get this value in the power apps okay so go to power apps and to get the value uh, so the value will send from power automate to power apps now so store that value in a label now okay so for that insert a label here so keep this label here so now uh, it will be very tricky here so the text value must must be similar to uh, similar thing like this so now what shall we do is like uh, copy this invoke complete expression and give here first and let's check anything available from the power automate here here we are so let's go to um, here action and power automate select this power automate here it's edit uh, if if i click again nothing is happening here so let's check here dot nothing is coming here and edit we will go here so let's save this and let's test once here what will happen manually or automatically the recent trigger succeeded okay click test and your flow ran successfully here your respond to the execution of template respond to or is skip put the client application is not waiting for a response from service okay that's okay so now let's see the value will appear here or not it's not coming here let's add here one more time nothing is coming here or what shall we do is uh, let's add this power app one more time okay once it is added here uh, we already know that text sorry text input dot text comma text input dot text okay and and give here dot and you you will get this variable from underscore pa this is what here actually we have given here add an output okay this one from underscore pa so this will activate here okay so copy this complete one and use this value as a variable here in this um, label so we can make it as uh, say something like um, in the global variable or local variable okay so let's uh, 
do it set you already know set means check set anything is happening or not nothing is happening here so here invoke In this invoke itself uh, let's see whether we can uh, write something here or below here this okay set set and uh, write this uh, name a variable here uh, here i am writing p name of the variable p a where where p a where p a or automate variable okay comma uh, i will do this complete thing control c as a value here if you see is set of variable comma value okay here we need to give the value dot from underscore pa and close the bracket now okay now uh, let's see how it will work okay preview it and uh, let's send this value again invoke pa and we need to give assign that variable so let's see whether this variable value is coming or not first variables global variable and you got the value this value from pa okay now assign this va uh, global variable to this particular say label okay so where is the label okay so this label okay so here in the text you can give from variable name is where pa okay so you can see the output here okay now let's save to save this power app and preview it and give new variables new values here and invoke and you can see already this uh, this is coming from the power automate okay so you can go here and go to my flows and you can go to workflow history and it's done successfully and it's giving values student name krishna and one 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 and from pa this value from pa respond it's everything is working fine now okay this is how you can call power automate from power apps okay and also you can pass variables vice versa thank you for watching Please subscribe to my